Hello and welcome to Queen's TV. I'm Kat Kopiak here in the arc with Sam, the president of the Queen's Dance Pack. How are you, Sam? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. So can you tell us a little bit about the Dance Pack? Queen's Dance Pack, um, it's fairly new. We've been around for about four or five years now. We are a recreational club, but we are a competitive team, and this is our second year being competitive. Um, we compete at cheer competitions in the dance division because we're a palm team. Um, a lot of people kind of think of palm dunes and aren't really sure what we are, but pretty much we're kind of like a mix of jazz and a little bit of hip-hop, a little bit of lyrical, a lot of um, upbeat, fast-paced dance with sharp palm music and pom-poms. And how often do you guys practice a week? We practice four hours a week because that's all we're allowed to practice. If we could practice more, we probably would. Yeah. Um, but yeah, club restrictions say we can only practice for four hours. So I'm here with some other girls from the dance pack, Amy and Emma. How are you girls doing? We're pretty good. I'm very good, yeah. yeah. Are you ready for practice? Yeah, pretty ready. We already warmed up, so nice and warm. Yeah, we have a competition this Friday, so we're just putting our final touches on our dance, getting all ready for the weekend. Awesome. So what year are you guys in at Queens? I'm in second year. Okay. I'm in first year. Well, awesome. And why did you want to try out for the team? Well, in first year, I danced a lot in high school, and I was really into it, and this looked like a great opportunity, and it's a lot of fun, and we're really close, and it's an awesome team to be a part of, so yeah. that's why I wanted to. I saw them at the football game, like, on Frosh Week, and they were so involved, so happy, so peppy, and all of my guy friends were like, oh, yeah, like, they're the, <laughs> the cute girls on campus. I don't know. I you wanted to be one of them? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um, no, I danced in high school as well, and it just, like, it seemed like a good way to stay dancing without having like every single night of the week like it is a commitment but it's not, not overly like yeah it's not overly committed at all awesome. and how did you become the president um, I became the president last year uh, the president she was supposed to graduate but then actually ended up taking a fifth year but um, the process was that we had to do applications and it actually happened in a really weird way I really had no interest in being like a leader or anything I just really wanted to dance and that's kind of all I was doing and then um, and then I was injured last year in October because I wasn't able to dance, but I just really, really loved the dance back and I loved the girls and I was became like really close to them so quickly. I really just wanted to be part of it. So I kind of asked the current president or the who was president back then if I could just help out and kind of be her assistant, which she complied and then I kinda of did little things from like taking attendance to making calls for her to just little executive things. Yeah, and and then when audition or when applications for president came around, she I actually applied for vice president. I was like, I don't want to be president. Like, it's too much. And she kind of sat me down and was like, you're going to be president. Like, I think. Good for you. Yes. Thank you. So are, are you guys a close team, I take it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're really close. I mean, like, we practice so many times a week and for so many hours a week. And it, being in a, you know, in a group of people within, like, dance is just so different than being within a team for anything else. Like, you know, like, you sweat together. You work together. Like, you're exhausted together. Like, you're in, like, little shorts every day. Like, it's. It's such a different experience than anything else. Like I'm so tight with these girls and like you walk into practice and you warm up and you like can just flatter and open up about like relationship problems or family problems and it's just like That's awesome, you're like a family. We're really like a family. We get along and we love each other a lot. And what do you guys like most about the team? Um, I think what I like most about the team is we're like a family and we all get along really well and it's such a great environment and I just have so much fun with all the girls like when I'm apart from them it's really sad and we all have like socials together and things so it's like such a good environment and I just love everybody on our team so much. So how long have you girls been dancing for? Um, since I was three so 16 years. Wow same with uh, same with Sam she said she danced since she was three or four I think. Yeah how about you? Uh, since I was three as well but I'm 20 so 17 years. <laughs> Great math, yep. <laughs> so how long have you been dancing for? I've been dancing since I was, I want to say like three or four. Like as soon as you could walk? Yeah, like I, I think almost all the girls on the team have. Like every girl on this team, like not every single person on this team came from a competitive background, okay. but everyone came from a very passionate, like right. dance is my life kind of driven background. Everyone is kind of like told to do everything the same way. Whereas we're a team, we're a student run team and we work together and we, kind of just take to their strengths and use them to our advantage. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, it's working. Yeah, to make like a really awesome competition yeah. piece, which so far we've done really well with, so. So good, and do you guys travel a lot? Yeah, we do. Well, we, we try to and we do, but we wish we could more. The issue is that we're not funded um, because we're not varsity. But we'd like to be varsity, but we're not varsity yet, so. You'll get there. Yeah, hopefully, but um, we do one away game a year. We'd like to do all the away games, but it's, it's really expensive, especially like going places like um, Kitchener and stuff, but we did three competitions this year, 
or we've done two, and we've got one this Friday, which is like, <laughs> and we've got one this Friday, which we're super excited about because the one this weekend is Ontario Open and Nationals, and we're competing at the same competition as Queen's Cheer, but not against them. They're in the cheer division, we're in the dance division, but um, it's our last competition of the season. And oh, it's yeah. How have you done in the other competition? Really well. The the last two competitions, we've won first place in our division and first place overall grand Wow, good job. Awesome. And how have you guys had fun this year, or how have the last couple uh, competitions been? Um, we actually won the last two competitions. We were grand champs at both. I heard you. That was awesome. That's amazing. And we've had like a really good year dance-wise. Like We danced at football games and basketball games and anything else. Uh, we were gonna do some other things in the community, even like it just kind of got too time consuming. We were gonna do Project Red, but that kind of fell through. I don't know, we just like, I think we're a lot more known throughout the school this year than we have been in past years. And how do you get on the dance pack? You get on the dance pack by auditioning. We have auditions twice a year, we have them in April, and we have them again in September. The reason we have the September auditions is so that all the frosh and everyone have an opportunity. And in April is because our very first football game is uh, the first weekend of school, like before Frosh Week even starts, and we need to have a prepared team for that. So we have to have a team ready in April.